Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today we are going to have a play with grungifying our scraps. I have got some watercolors. I've got different ranger sprays, okay? And I have all kinds of scraps, all right? So I these are my strip scraps that I've been saving on the sides for like edgings and to stamp words on and I just thought that it would be a lot of fun to kind of grungy them up okay so that's what I'm gonna do today um, all you're gonna need is papers that you want to use and then we're just gonna do like a bunch of fun stuff with them I have these little squeezy things I got at I got these at Hobby Lobby you know like a shrinch and so we're gonna I'm gonna use some of those to do this um, and I've also got some of my I've got some of my um, watercolors over here because I thought that might be fun to add some color so I'm not going to use everything in one batch okay so I'm going to do some and then I'm going to put some more in because I've got quite a few I'll show you my little box I've got quite a few now I've actually saved and I I didn't set, start saving them until recently so I got I got them built up kind of quick so I'm just splattering right now some vintage photo into here because that it would be fun I'm not putting on any gloves um, I am just doing this and I'm gonna stick my hands in the ink you know how I am I want to have some fun today this video might take me a little bit from my perspective because I'm going to be um, pausing for it to dry probably. I don't want to have to sit here and um, use like the, uh, the hot tool, you know, the heat tool. So we'll see. I may need to, but we'll see. So I was just thinking, you know, I've got to have some brown and some grunge in there. Um, you know, that's like... To me, that's like a given. You gotta have a little vintage photo, cause, I don't know, it's just kinda traditional for us junk journalers to have some vintage photos somewhere. So I'm just getting it all over these, and it's not, I mean, it's not a ton, and I could use the spray and, you know, squirt it like that, but I, I didn't want it to dominate. I kinda, will do a little bit, but I kinda just wanted it to be I gotta be careful because it's it'll spray out so strongly you know um, now I really I had so much fun now this I probably will spray because I just love it but I have these you know the mica sprays OMG love them love them so much and they just to me they make everything more pretty um, and they make me want to use it <laughs> So whenever I do anything I want to use the mica spray <laughs> If I'm doing stuff like this, um, I just find it to be so beautiful. And I have all those different colors, so, you know, for me it's kind of just fun to use them. Okay, what did I do with the lid? Did I have the lid? I thought I did, but I obviously I don't. Okay. Um, 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 oh, let's do, let's have a little fun. Let's see what happens if we add some of our watercolor. To this so I'm gonna spray um, this a little bit with some water I have no idea what outcome I'm gonna get because I've never done this part before ever 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 actually I've never uh, done this whole project with scraps like this um, I'll be right back I gotta get some water oh wait you know what I have this let me see no I'll be right back back I was only gone a sec okay so I have a paintbrush and I have a jar of water and all I'm gonna do with this I think okay I'm gonna spray a little bit more because I kind of want to see what effect I can get I don't like this paintbrush let me grab a different one I used it earlier with some um, Mod Podge and I don't think I cleaned it good enough so uh, let me see you know what, I think I'm going to use this because I want to kind of tap the colors on 
And let's see, we've already done like a copper of the mica, and I think it'd be kind of fun to have a green on this set. And I say set because I'm hoping to get uh, a few different color combinations going here. Okay, so let's see. And this is my metallic paints that I got. Um, I don't know, I think it was back in October. That was probably the last time I went over. Ooh, that's pretty. I went over to Hobby Lobby. And that's where I got them. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna have some fun. And because this paper is wet, it's getting that whole watercolor, you know. Oh, this is cool. I think this is fun. Can you guys see? Let me see. Can you see a little bit? It's it's kinda hard to see, but if you look, we're getting some we're getting some cool see drops. Okay. So the other thing I want you, if you're joining in with me, the other thing I think would be fun to add to this project is something I saw, oh my goodness, I think it was Louise Heinzel. Um, I saw her pimp out her scraps. You know, I'm calling it grunge by my scraps just because I hate calling things pimping. I don't know why. I just don't like that word. But anyway, <laughs> that's my thing. Um, and I was watching her and she also used some stamping and so that would be totally fun and we might might i don't know but we might do some stenciling on them too we'll see if i think i can manage that or make that work okay so there's that green okay and let's see do i want to do i have two rows of colors here and i'm not even sure what the other side has let me look Okay, so, oh, we have the brighter green. That would be fun. Let's try it. Let's just go for it. I don't know. It's going to look kind of weird, but you know what? It's going to be fun. That's the whole point, right? I am going to spray this some more because my, my, I think my paper's drying out. I want the paint to gr hopefully kind of, not a wash, but almost a wash of the watercolor and it seems to be kind of working and it's spreading out I'm making sure that the paint is really wet okay so if you're using your paints if you grab your paints and use them with me um, wet your paper and then make sure that your paint you have a lot of water so that when it hits the paper it spreads like a wash you know how watercolor does because we want that I want at least you don't have to have that I want that look for mine so this batch is like a green oh that works this batch is like a green and a brown with copper mix okay so there's that color and then I have this green as well I also have the balsam green which is the mica powder and that is really Ooh, look at this one. It's grabbing all kinds of color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? With some stamping on it? That's going to look really cool. It's just fun to make up things, you know? <laughs> just so much fun because you end up getting, you usually end up getting something really cool. Um, let's see, where is my balsam? It's called balsam. What do I do with it? It's here. Give me a sec. Here we go. Oh, no, that's my gold. Here it is. No, that's winter frost. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's like fresh balsam, but it's got a green and gold look to it. So I'm thinking it's kind of almost the same thing. Here, watch. I just want to see. But let's see what it does. Because it's not watercolor. It is mica. So it may land and do something a little bit different. Which would be cool. Yeah, it's like a gold green. And it's darker than the others that I was using, so that's cool. We could spray it. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so this one, mine are going to be very blingy because that's me. You guys know me. I love gold. I love bling. I like, I like shiny. But I like it. I like it in contrast with matte, so that's why I'm also doing the matte because 
Let's see. This one gathered twigs. Let me see what this one does. How dark is it? Ooh, nice. That gives a nice grungy look. Okay. Mixing that in there with it. <laughs> and it's hidden, you know, if you look, uh, the paints and stuff, all of it's hitting both sides of the paper. So it's kind of giving a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to pause for a second and let this dry, and then we will do another batch. Okay, I took my hot tool to it, heat tool to it, and it only took a few seconds for, like, literally a minute and a half or so for the strips to, like, dry out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and fit these into a little bucket over here I've got. I need to sit down. I've been standing up the whole time. Um, let's see. So this time I want to also add in my other um, my other paints, which this is uh, what's it called again? The Kiritaki, and it's a, they're Japanese watercolors, or they're from Japan. Um, but there are some really really pretty colors in here, like deep blues, and I thought that would be a lot of fun to try and make something with that. I've got some like midnight blues and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to put some new strips in here. This has got, I've got some, I'm going to have some music sheets. Like I said, um, there's some dictionary page. You can use whatever you deem necessary to get your, you know, your fun. To have for fun to use later. And these are going to be, there's some rice paper. These are going to be awesome for page edgers again like we've done before um just to just decorative just to embellish stuff you know or we can do the words on them like we have done before um i'm looking for my walnut stain here it is okay now we're also gonna do some grungifying of our coffee dyed papers and avocado dyed papers anything we have hand dyed um, I'm going to do a video of that and we're going to make those look pretty too together and just have some fun playing. Um, I just thought because we got scraps for our um, for our something challenge that it would be kind of cool to use these up and, and make them into something because I hadn't done that yet. So I'm doing this walnut stain pretty dark. I want the grungy brown because I'm going to come in on this with some blue um, and I want it to I want it to really complement each other. You know how I feel about brown and blue. I love brown and blue. Hey Pammy, we love brown and blue. And so <laughs> Yeah, so Okay. One of you the other day told me that you love brown with um, royal purple and you had ref you had kind of made the comment that I know that doesn't sound like a really good match, but I love it. It works for me. And I was like, no, I love that because purple looks awesome with brown. I used to mix purple and eyesh brown eyeshadow as well, not just blue and brown eyeshadow. They work good together. So, yeah. Um, I'm looking at my blues because I have these ones that are like um, a shade that's almost like a green. And I got to be careful because it's, it's a really cool looking green, but I want to use this. I think this is the one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is it. And it is a really deep, I don't even know, number 67. This is a, the color, mm, indigo. So it's like a blackish blue, you know? Really deep, really deep blue. I love it. Probably one of my favorite colors of blue. I used to wear that color eyeshadow all the time. I did teal a lot as well. I love teal, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this so I quit getting uh, like losing some of my my water in the cleaning water over here. Okay. Ooh, I can see it on that rice paper. It's just spreading out. It looks really cool.
Okay. Can you guys see okay? Make sure everybody can see. Okay. Like I said, once we get a few batches of these with different colors, then we'll come back in and we'll do some uh, we'll do some stamping on them and just kind of random work with them and uh, I didn't get much brown on this one did I? Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit. There's my what did I do with it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Just wanted to well, this one too. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And again, spray my paint. Isn't that a gorgeous blue? Mmm, yummy. One of those that I talk about that makes my eyes happy. Yeah, that's one. So, how's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday. Um, it's actually Tuesday for me too, but it's Tuesday of last week that I'm shooting this video. I have been, all day long, I have been just studying the Word of God and spending time with Him. I actually, oops, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that big, big piece. Um, yeah, I've just been really, really studying out some topics in the Word of God and enjoying His presence. And so, praise God. I, I thought, i got to get on and do a video. I haven't really done any videos. <laughs> I've, been, I've been so, um, you know, just spending time with Jesus. Let's see. Winter Frost. This is the other mica. Oh, love it, love it, love it so much. And um, this is probably my favorite one of all of them. Other than the gold, maybe. It just goes on so pretty. I know it's a lot of blue, but you know me. I don't really care. I'm just in love. And it makes me so thrilled to look at the paper and see all the shine and the and the bling. And... <laughs> And it looks so pretty as as just an accent, you know, like little, like I always talk about the strips. That's why I get so excited about the strips because we're going to add a little gold too of the mica. Now we could actually do uh, some, we could actually do some, um, I have some watercolor paint over here that is, oh, these are all stuck together. Shoot. I have some watercolor paint that is also um, gold in this kit. I have, I actually have two. There's an antique and then there's like a bright gold. Um, let's see. Is it, oh, there's some purple in there, but don't pay attention to that. A red, whatever. But anyway, yeah, just some beautiful, beautiful color. Check this out. Just for fun. Let's just see what it does. I'm sure it won't do anything too, too exciting, but it is truly a gold watercolor, though. Um, if you've ever not, you know, or wanted to use a gold watercolor, Kiritaki paints are awesome. You can get them on Amazon, which is where I got mine. And they have, they're true to color, and they're beautiful. They're just beautiful, as you can see. Um, can you see? So, here. You can see the gold. Um, and that's just dropping it with a brush. You know, so when you're actually painting it onto paper, look at this, look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous watercolor, so gorgeous, just gorgeous, you guys. I'm just gonna get a little more water here. This paper doesn't have much of anything on it, okay. All right, so there's a second batch. And this is all I did to dry them. I thought I was gonna have to do it a lot longer, but I didn't, so hopefully this batch will dry as quick. I really like this, it's all grunged out. Look at that. Once I do a little stamping, I'll probably do some scripts, um, maybe some Tim Holtz patterns. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Some of my little favorites. Yeah, it's already drying. It's already feeling dry. Super fast. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Look at that. And that's on top of my laced coffee dyed paper. I just use for this box, it's just a mail, priority mailbox. 
um, and it works perfect for the depth and everything. It, it pretty much, I mean, there's some mess, but for the most part, the walls of it protect stuff on my desk, so I'm good. Okay, there's that batch. I'm just putting it over here with the other batch. I don't really care once they're done if they get mixed up. I just wanted to get some oh, with different colors, you know. Okay, let's see. Got to dig a little bit for some pieces. Oh, that one's kind of cool. That'd be fun to grunge up. You know, we like to we like the grunge, right? This is actually I don't know if this will. That's the edging of a page. I'm not gonna fiddle with that. There we go. Here's some more music sheets. These are all vintage papers in this batch. Um, there's some avocado dye, some coffee dye. Let me see. Trying to stick to my strips. Here's some more pages. Okay. These will be fun to stamp with words on, on some of them like I was going to. Okay, so this time, let's see. What color should we do? Um, gosh. Okay, we're going to do the mica in the red. Okay, that's one. Okay, and then um, let me see. Hmm. I'm just deciding. Do I, I want to grunge? I guess I'll probably just use vintage photo again for that part. And then a color. What color? We used blue and we used green. So how about... I have this sponge sugar. I'm not really sure how that would work. And I don't... Mm, I do have festive berry. I wonder how that one would do. Along with the mica. That might be kind of cool. Or I could, oh, you know what I could do is just bring in, yeah, I'll bring in more watercolor. Let's see. Um, let's use my favorite here. This deep, oh, no, no, no. Let's use this one. This deep purplish red down here, which is 37. It's, um, oh, it says it's just purple. No, it doesn't seem like just purple. We're going to use a purple. It'll be fun. So, and we may go ahead and grab from our, our little metallic watercolors because we've got some fun. We have a couple of lavenders. And, yeah, so that'll be fun. Or like a fuchsia and a lavender. We'll see. Okay. Let's go for it. I may just go ahead and do a little spritz. Just to get my, if you hit your, if you hit it like barely, it kind of drops bigger drops if you want some, you know, like spots where there's some, and it's not so much of a mist. Now you can also run some water after you spray your oxide or your, your ink, whatever, um, and get, or not ink, oxide you can spray some water of course and make that spread out more if you want it to I'm just not worried about it I want the browns just to be grungy and kind of cause the paper to look dirty you know you know what I mean so I'm not real worried about it spreading out so much and I'm sure when I'm hitting it with water for the watercolors it's probably doing that anyway huh okay so there's some vintage photo on there now let's go ahead and use some of this one. We'll spray this down. It looks redder to me than purple. I don't know why, but we shall see. Well, because I have one that's like really purple. Maybe I mixed red with this or something the last time, and it's just covering my purple. Do you think? I bet that's it. Yep, I bet that is it. Yep, my purple's underneath because I was mixing them up. Which, it made a really cool, like, burgundy color. I like. And that's funny, I grabbed this one because it's purple. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. A purple ink that I had gone over my faux leather paper with. That's kind of comical. Didn't even mean for that to happen. See, I don't think this looks purple. I think this looks red. Not red, but burgundy or, you know. Am 
my hands are getting so messy. It's not like me at all. You ever eat? Okay. So I hope you guys, um, well, I've already done the drawing, so I was going to mention it. I just, I just did the, the quick video telling you guys to please put your names or a heart or some kind of comment in the comment section, and that's in my head. So yeah, it's a week ago. I've already done the drawing and everything, so I will talk about who won um, this past Monday, I'm sure. If you guys get used to always hearing me talk in the um, past, because I'm always a week ahead. So that's why I always talk like that. I gotta get, maybe I should just get better about not talking about dates and days of the week and stuff and just let it be kind of like Tina does or other people do. But oopsie, I'm so sorry for that loud noise. My paint fell off the edge of my um, little holder. So now I am going to bring in some shiny. I got the red mica spray. Ooh, can you see that? Ugh, so pretty. So see, that's kind of why I was saying I want to fancy up my scraps for strips because I like them, a, it's kind of a, a shabby grungy, you know, I mean, or chic grungy. It's, it's shiny and pretty and I like them to have kind of not so much matte but to have that sheen and that pretty look to them too so yeah okay there's that and let me see do I want to do I may go ahead and spread a little bit more um maybe some gathered twigs the brown just to add to my grunge a little bit the gathered trig twigs is a is like a lighter than vintage photo and and walnut stains darker than vintage and so yeah vintage photo is kind of in the center there so this will just add a little muddier look I guess to it okay. come on out of the corner don't be hiding. I hope you guys feel inspired today. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to stamping these. I'm, I'm wondering if they'll look cute, you know. I know they did really look cute with that. I don't think I'm going to use the metallics. Oh, wait, you know what? I could use this one. That might be kind of fun. Let's see what it does. It's like a taupe, bronzy, brown color. I don't know. Let's see what it does. They're metallic watercolors. Um, anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, I can't wait to do some, have some fun with, with the stamps because, you know, that just makes them even more grungy, you know, and, and we can use these strips. We could tear these down and use them for collaging. Um, you could make, you can make yourself some snippets with them. Um, you know, use them as snippet decor, you know, if, what do you call it, embellishments? Um, yeah, you can use them for anything. So, I mean, they're just fun. Just, just fun. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for fun ways to do something a little bit different and, and have a good time with it, you know? Okay. I had so much fun this morning. Um, I'm sure I've already done the flip through, but finishing the Memories of the Meadow folio. Oh my gosh. I had such a good time just sitting there crafting away. La, la, la. And, uh, you know, time just, time just kind of stopped for me. And yeah, it was really nice. It was really nice this morning. Okay. Cause I was just crafting. I wasn't worrying about, you know, what I put where. I'm oh, sorry. Loud noise guys. <laughs> but I wasn't really worried about what I put where. I just kind of you know those times when you just decorate and you don't really think about it and you end up with some really pretty stuff? That's what happens. I kind of feel like this needs more of a, a different color. There's like there's too much red. I like red, but what else can we add? Um, 
We're just gonna worry. We're just gonna do the red. We're not gonna worry about it. It's it's funny because the purple. I I it says it's purple, but it never did turn purple. So I don't think. See, this is the one that's actually like a purple. Um, that's weird. You know what? I'm gonna throw down a little bit of this to differentiate some color in there because that is just too much red for my eyes and this is the one I think of as the purple I guess it's a violet but um, yeah let's see with the red some purple with the red and the brown and let's see that's purple um, okay just splatter some of that in there Just making a mess. Just making a mess, having fun doing it. It's amazing, I just never thought that being so unstructured with my art would make me so happy. And watching other people, you know, um, do art journaling or just whatever they do that is just unstructured. It's not, it's not following any particular rule. It's just going with what they feel and building on that and I just it's amazing to me honestly I, I know I've probably talked about it before but it really is I think about it whenever I go to do stuff I'm I'm like okay just remember don't don't worry about it just just go with what you're doing and go with what feels right and let it happen um, yeah and that's that's the times I have the most fun and it's the times that I end up probably enjoying my project and and the result of my project more than I do any other time so yeah okay so now we have some actual purple in the mix I feel better about that because it, it, it just didn't look right with all that red it was way too much okay these are super grungy um, if you don't like grungy, you won't like this video because I made a total mess of my scrap and I love it, personally. <laughs> they dry really quick though, these strips. I'm sure if they were bigger pieces of paper, it might not. Um, but again, they're almost dry again. Okay, good enough. So there we go. and. We're gonna bring this all in onto my desk, okay? I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, so let's just let's just have a play with this. Here's our green. I actually just had the blue and the green all stacked up over here. I'm just taking them out of their little spot here. I think probably my favorite combo is the blue. With the, I mean the green. Um, I really like how that one turned out. Like it looks. I like that. Do you guys like that? Let me see what you can see. Are you good? Okay, it looks like a total wreck on my desk, as you can see. Okay. All right. So, now, what we're going to do... <laughs> okay. I'm serious. This is what I'm going to do. I have no idea. But I'm going to have a little fun. So... We're using black, okay? I'm just gonna use black. I'm not gonna try to get fancy with it because I have found that I end up liking uh, stuff that's done with black anyway. So I'm gonna start stamping around my stuff here and just putting some script into areas of it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using different parts of my stamp. I am folding it down. I, I'm not worrying about whether the paper is laid flat or perfectly in alignment. Okay. Because I truly want to get an organic kind of outcome. I don't use that word too often. I don't like to misuse the word organic about this, but I think that's probably the best, you know, the free flow of just how 
something happens without it being forced is what I'm saying. So, you know, I'm just kind of, I like this particular uh, stamp. So I'm bringing in my papers and just, okay. And I'm just gonna turn them and keep stamping. So if you have some script stamp, just grab it and see what you end up with. I probably should do a smaller amount um, of my papers at a time. I'm thinking now that I'm doing it, I'm like, okay, it's getting a little out of hand. I know you were all probably like, Tara, what are you doing? Um, you know me, I get excited and I just like dive into stuff I do. It's true. I. I'll admit it. It's all, it's, all, it's all true. So I'm even coming in upside down because I don't even know what direction these papers are going to go. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to worry about what direction this is going. I can go with the flow of whatever I've done on them. Okay. I don't know how many times I, um, put things sideways and upside down and you know that always seems to work so I'm just gonna do that okay now I'm gonna try another stamp and I am NOT going to dig for a ton of stamps I am just gonna use um, some different ones that are in my drawer here I'm not gonna go and get my uh, thingy that has all my stamps in it I have a case you know like a notebook thing where I keep them and okay. I really want this to be grungy and fun and down the road we'll be like oh these are the strips we made as we use them for I don't know for a collage or that would be fun to do um snippet roll and collaging like dedicated to this this particular something challenge that would be cool I want to get a little more words on this because I'm thinking this side is going to be the one I use of this paper just because the blue is very predominant and I like it look at that isn't that pretty so yeah and I have other word stamps over here and swirlies um okay and then what i'm gonna do after i get done stamping a good portion of this because i'll probably have to come back in and straighten these out and stamp them again knowing me i will because i'm like that i'm sitting there going okay how much of this am i missing what am i not getting um i try really hard to be random and organic organic <laughs> it doesn't work for me very well I'm just being honest, okay? I'm just being honest. That's how I roll. I have to tell you the truth because I'll end up telling on myself later anyway. I came back in and redid all those. Um, <laughs> I know there's those of you out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. So. Okay. I've just got tons over here. I really did a lot of strips. That's kind of funny. Oh, this side's prettier. I like this side better. And if I remember Louise, she just like boom, 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 you know, and just kept hitting them and hitting them. And they came out so cool. So I really need to just be free about it and not worry about it. Here's one I love. Um, I like this, this stamp set. So I'm going to grab a thingy here. Maybe I'll do a bigger one, a little bit bigger one. Me and my messy blocks but that's okay it's okay yeah so we're just gonna do some swirlies on some of these can you guys see everything I'm making a mess with okay just making sure See, and I'm just getting bits and pieces of them. And that's the whole point, is to not really worry about, you know, where it's landing because it's just going to be little parts of it showing in. Okay. 
And again, I'm seeing where I need to add a few little pieces of scripts and No, I'm thinking as I'm doing this, we could totally use these for like a snippet roll um, base and make some really pretty, actually some really pretty uh, de design on, on a base and then come back over it with some fussy cuts and some pieces, you know, of lace and different things and just add to whatever we do on there. I mean, it would look, it would look pretty cool if it's done right. <laughs> Such a mess, you guys. Look at me. So unorganized. That's how it feels. I hope you guys don't, like, hate this video. <laughs> if you do, just don't tell me, okay? I don't want to know. <laughs> don't want to know. <laughs> oh. I always rely on, on the kindness of my friends to, to just be nice. <laughs> If you hate it, don't tell me. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can tell me. <laughs> I'll understand. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Okay, here we go. Goodness. All right. Okay, come on now. Lay down. Yeah, it's all kinking up now because of the water. Because it's, you know, now it's completely dry and it's getting, like, really kinked. Okay, so we have a bunch of fun strips here. I'm looking because I've got, like, this little guy is a butterfly. He'd be fun on some of them. But he's hard to hold because he I don't have a he doesn't oh guess he does peel off. Duh, yeah he does. Never mind. I was about to say something stupid. I just never take him off of there. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm just gonna run him through some stuff. Even just his like his uh tail because he's got like the swirlies. Oh that's one got purple in it. He's pretty. I like him. See, that looks cool. It's got your, you've got your, um, that design that, what do you call it? Oh, what's it called? You guys know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and then you got your butterfly with the script in the background. And yeah, it's just fun. You know, of course, this is the more, this is the more fun side as far as like the, what you call it goes. So I'll put him on there too. The colors in Oh, he'll look cool across here. Okay, let's see here. Let me grab this. Hmm. We can have this little flower. I like this flower. He's just kind of coming on the edges. He's not even, I'm just getting around on the edges of some pages here. See, I'm starting to organize already because I can't help myself. I'm missing some spots, you know, because of how I'm doing it and so it's driving me crazy. So you know me, like I said, I will be coming back and being like, oh, I've got to fix that, you know. I really like like this strip. I think it looks really nice. Look at that. So that's fun, you know. And then there's a little bit of flowers on here with him. 
Here's another one that looks really cool. So you guys get the idea, right? You get the idea of what we are aiming for. I hope that you had fun with this and I think what we'll do is I will, like I said, organize these at least so they're in a semblance of order, put them back in my bucket so I have them organized. And then we'll come back and do, I'm looking in here to see if I have any, like, because I have a lot of fun stamps because of you my friends um so i'm looking here real quick i've got this key this one's nice but i was going to say is we'll come back and we will make something with these which would be really fun that one looks cool we'll make some i don't know like I said, some collage probably. More than likely, knowing me, I'm gonna make something with collaging on this because I really think it would be an awesome background to use these grunged out papers. And then also, I would like, on some of them probably, I will, the ones that I don't have like anything on them, I'll probably use um, and do my stamping for my words that I like to do, because I do like that. Like, like Gail does, I love that. So, well, there's already part of a key on that part. I think that it's always fun to have stamped words on paper like this. So. But I really like the way these look. Um, like this one, as you can see, they're very pretty. Look at that. And look and see if it, you guys can see okay. So, I mean, I know they're in like a huge pile right now, but they have a lot of really nice color to them. So they'll be really pretty. Oh, I love that. So grungy. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys felt inspired with me to grunge some papers and make them your own. Turn them into your own little artwork and then you can use them for your own wonderful journals, embellishing your pages, your ephemera. That one looks really cool. Um, yeah, embellishing your pages and your ephemera and even using, this would be a lot of fun to do um, like a, a grungy junk journal cover, collaged, and then Mod Podged over, you know, it would look really nice. So, yeah. So as you can see, I got a lot of fun results from this. I'm excited, I like these. They're all, they've all got something fun on them, whether it's a stamping or it's just a beautiful design of color. This one's got a lot of cool purple. See it? And that's one thing about that watercolor, it dries very, very, um, it can even get shiny, like have a real sheen to it. It's a, it's a really good watercolor set. It costs a little bit more. I believe it's in my list of supplies because it's one of my favorites. And um, as you can tell, I'm trying to pick these up as we're talking. It's another pretty one. Okay, so yeah, so this is fun. Let me see here. I'm gonna pause for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I did was I went and grabbed, um, I went and grabbed a strip of my cash register receipt paper. Just real quick, I thought I'd show you what I was talking about. And then I was thinking, oh, it'd be kind of cool to make, um, to make actually collage strips with this paper. And then use it as snippets or as actual collages or 
as something you glue onto something, or you could use it as a snippet roll. Um, stay down. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is grab, I don't wanna use my absolute favorites on here. So, and the ones that didn't really stamp for me as I pull them, I was gonna just add a little decorative stamp to them, you know, right now. So, found my little black, or my little Tim Holtz stamp. I love the one with the spots on it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to just do a little bit of quick, super easy. I'm grab a glue page here. Okay. My camera, yes, okay. I'm not gonna make a big to-do about this. I'm just gonna do a little couple of strips here just to show you what I'm talking about and then they'll be there for me to use. But you can use, um, any strips of paper, you could use book page, um, you could use, like I'm doing, the receipts, anything you want, just, you know, just making, and you can mix your pieces. I just laid this paper down and I just didn't want to get glue all over it yet. <laughs> That's why I'm using the glue paste. I'm just trying to bring in some different combinations to give it a different look all over the place. You know? And you can trim it. Um, and then after you get your strip decorated, you can use it as, like I said, to do ephemera. You could use it on a collage, an actual collage. You could use it as uh, anything you want. I mean, my goodness, these are just fun. You can stamp on them again. You could decorate on top of them with fussy cuts and, you know, maybe paper doll. Um, and, you know what I mean? And do that kind of. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to tear this one here. I just thought it'd be good to at least show you guys what I was thinking kind of you know and when I was saying those things about what you could do with them um, I didn't want to leave you going okay now how do we use these because <laughs> that happens a lot to me I know where people make stuff and then I walked away going hmm I'm not really sure how I should use that uh, I am making a mess though. Oops. Let's see. Oh, this side's pretty. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut. That'll make it a little bit easier for me, I think. Like I said, you can do, um, you can combine all of them. You can, I mean, I think that looks pretty cool already and I've not even finished it, so. It's just fun, you know, just fun. Oops. So clumsy with the 
Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have enough glue. I'm so clumsy with stuff. I'm constantly knocking things over. I'm gonna use one that's got a little bit more. <coughs> this one's got, yeah, this one's more gold. That would look fun. Let's use a piece of the rice paper. Stop that. It sticks to my fingers. <laughs> and I go to move my hand and it falls off. It's very annoying. There we go. Okay. And you could go back and forth. You could do it in different, like I said, different directions. That would be cute. And just kind of run along the sides, trim off your edges. I'm totally cutting this in even because I'm trying to hurry. I don't, oh my gosh, my phone's about to die. That's all I need is the, oh, come on. Is the camera to die? Okay, get on there. Come in. There we go. Oh, good. Okay. Anyway, I'm cutting it fast because I know my time's running to an end, and I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of what I was talking about. So, there's a strip made with our strips. Cute, right? I hope you think so. I, I think it's pretty cute. And now I have a couple of really pretty um, journal cards over here I made back eons ago, probably with you guys. I did these um, from a Hobby Lobby bag, uh, so they don't even have a backer on them yet. But <clears throat> I was thinking that like you could do a strip on a card. Okay, so say I wanted to use, let's see. Let's just say I'm going to run a strip down the side. I'm trying not to hoard stuff, so I'm just going to cut into it and enjoy it. I'm going to trim that white piece off. Okay, and then I don't want to cover the whole thing. So I'm going to trim that down and then... Okay, there's the front. Where's my, I'm gonna grab. And I'm gonna grab a person, one of my, <clears throat> but I'm also gonna grab like some type of fussy cut here. Let's see what would match. Maybe I should pick the person first and I'm gonna probably put those guys look cool. I could put like a... If I had a piece, I'm looking here to see if I have a piece that's long enough to put behind them as kind of like a bench. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be these guys, but they work. Going through my stuff real quick. Trying to be quick.
Let me see. <coughs> I wonder if these guys would do better. Let me see here. They have a dog. <laughs> we could probably even use another piece of this to make a place for them to sit as well if we wanted to. The only reason I'm thinking of not putting a lot of stuff on here is because I really like the colors of this mixed with the colors of that. And so I don't want to cover, I don't want to cover uh, a lot of the card. So this piece is going to be like my little bench, okay? I don't like them just sitting there in midair. So, like I said, this is just to give you an idea. You could use these on the front of notebooks. Um, you know, like a, a little mini notebook covers, um, you could use them like we were talking about before as word strips. Um, there's so many ways you can use paper to do some fun stuff on your projects using it to embellish. So. Grabbing, I'm just looking over here in my. Oh, yeah, wait. These would probably do better. I can find my words. What do I do with them? Ah, here they are. Let me see. Because these have some colors in here that might match. Or even. real quick. Well, that one sounds good for these two guys. I like that. The difference between winning and losing is most often not quitting. Comment by Walt Disney. And of course, we're going to add a little bling around here. Of course, of course, because it's me. And let's see. Do I want this on the side here? Or do I want it over here? I think I'll just be simplistic and put it right there. I'm not going to worry about it. Where's my glue? What do I do with my little glue? Ah. Okay, so the difference from winning and losing is most often not quitting. And that's the gentlemen are with their little dog and our strip we made to be kind of grungy on the side of the card, okay? And we could probably do, I don't know, some type of 
actually I could have probably put some of this underneath there that would have looked cool just for more of grunge you know me I always remember stuff after I've glued it down or think of something after the fact but because it's the type oops I did pull that the type of paper this is it might actually work let me see Oh, I like that. We're going to use the hot glue on this because that will settle that netting down, that cheesecloth. And I didn't coffee dye that cheesecloth. I actually bought it that color, but uh, Valerie and I have been trying to find it at Home Deep or Hobby Lobby again, and it hasn't been there. So, yeah. So, um, it's like a beige color. But there we go. That's more what I'm looking for. So there you go guys, that's how we can use our little strips, that's one way, like I said, you can use them in any way, but we took all those strips, put it together, made our own little uh, strip from, from collaging it, the papers, and then now with this, like this piece, I would probably go ahead and uh, do some stamping on it because I don't really have much design or anything on this piece. So. There. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Just to jazz it up a little bit. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you hit like and subscribe and become a part of the Terra Take, Take family. If you are interested in posting anything that you felt inspired to make, we're over on Facebook together at Creatives Inspired Corner. And feel free to join our group. We have some fun over there. And these something challenges are posted there once a week, every Monday. So I hope you guys will join us. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.